Here we go. Elimination games underway. North American Derby to start things off. Nova up against Tribe. Let's go! <laughs> Nova versus Tribe. I finally got the headset on over here. Ready <laughs> to go munch. We got some Finn here. Some of my all-time favorite players. And you know that everything's on the line for these teams. Finna get the hook up in here. Cause gonna start things off strong. Guess up in nice here. Hit. Up in here. Oh, gold school start in trouble. Oh, gold school gets the heal though. No problem there. Gabe this a quick little heal. They want to contest that gold oak. It's a bold move from Nova deep into enemy territory to start things off. They'll go ahead and secure that. So an effective rotation. Polite company go, doing work. T Tigers, debatably best player in the world, will be the first blood. Give me one more little tap oh. on that booty right there. First blood for Nova. Nice moves. Beautiful stuff to start things off. We are kicking off in style just a minute into the game. Not too big of a deal, but five minutes in, look who hits the shot, Chuck. Ooh. Now they're moving up to the top lane. Hammy's going for it. Will they be able to get the kill? Old school, they flip it around. Hammy will go down, punished for the aggression. Now Cod's actually going down the other way. Is now Tribe up 2-1, five and a half minutes into this one. Yeah, fun. It, yeah, it really is, and it's, it's strange because we've mostly seen that out of starting all over with Hammy being a little bit more consistent, but he's taking on that role, and maybe because starting's playing a little bit more passive. Now, right now, this is the Ghost Wing challenge where Tribe trying to get into position. Max Green and Gabe know exactly what's oh. happening. We see the rotation from Chuck on down here, but this is where Finn's going to just drop the polite company. There you go, just stomp at the ground, trying to get control. Gauntlet comes down to the lane. Max Green able to slip out of the fight with well, the rest of the team try to go for this ghost wing who's in it takes wants it but it will go over to nova great job there one for one on the kills but ghost wing going the way of nova a little kiting back by truth to the beauty truth is a god man he's with this minion candy wave pushing on towards the turret this is going to be a tier two going the way of nova right now not a whole lot tribe can do about it i say that <laughs> i'm completely wrong it's going to be the next minion wave though and in the meantime this bottom lane tier two will be finished off. I mean, they've taken two turrets in that lane. Not one has gone down against them. It's just oh. phenomenal pushing, phenomenal rotations coming out of Nova, getting into the base. Truth, trying to get the kill, but the nether form detonator from Max Green allows him to reposition, that was so and good. Truth will go down, jabated on in. The the perfect bait coming out from Max Green right there. He knew that Truth would take it. He knew he'd go for the kill, and the rest of the team comes to sweep up. They even get one of the backs as well. Yeah, and also what we've been seeing earlier on today as well is a hook to try and start a fight usually gets crucible, but if the fight goes on for a little bit, you usually get one to end the fight. Yeah. Groups people together, and especially if you've got a Celeste on your squad or some of that AoE, it's going to finish it off. Gauntlet goes down though, and that's going to be old school. Solo just about escapes. Yeah, not he's solo, but not solo as he goo <laughs> moves on back there. <laughs> T Tiger's the only one to fall, but Nova want more. Are they going to get into the base here? They're getting damage onto Chuck over the wall. Chuck turns around with a solar storm, oh, the goes Eve. to the base, but they're over the wall. Kinetic wants oh. one. Is he going to go for two? They juggle the damage. Truth just squaring oh, up the base. Lord. Oh, Truth oh. almost finding it. Oh. Old school barely staying alive, and Nova just flexing over the corpses of Tribe. <laughs> Damn. That right there, Truth was on the cusp of glory. He was so close that, to... I, I, that was glorious. That was vain glorious. <laughs> it absolutely was. But Old School and Chuck both sub 10 Pulled HP. Over the wall, fight. chop down. Chuck is dead. Nova building up the momentum. OT Tigers once more right here. He's chasing on for Delphi. Five infusions immediately pop up <laughs> in the kill feed. Everybody getting ready for the fight. Old School trying to take a turret in the mid lane, but... That's not a trade you want to make, my friend. That's going to be an inhibitor going down. All right. And maybe not what they want, but that's all they could get. A T1 for a T3 here. Now Arcane Passage in. Gabe Bizzle says, let's go, squad. But the gauntlet comes down. Nova say, you want to fight? We're ready to go. T Tigers is on the backside for his team. The damage is coming out. Whoa, Tiggs has down. dropped. Tribe stand their ground. The Quibble, the polite company from Finn, keeping Nova alive. They want Max Green. They've got him. It is a three for one. One right now with that base turret down. There's borderline, just almost nothing from Tribe stopping Nova from moving in. Oh Look at the Lord, damage the coming damage. out. They're going to find another one. Old school. Oh, well, it's game over. Zizzle, it's the ace. Nova just destroying Tribe here in game one from minute one all the way to 16, 17 minutes in. That was all Nova. And that was a comfortable win as well. We saw a little bit of back and forth in the early game, but Nova only just lost a turret. 
right at the very end of the game. Phenomenal control coming out from them throughout that first game of the series. And Tribe have to go back to the drawing board if they want a chance in this one. Yeah, Nova are just like, uh, I mean, they're no clash, I guess. Oh, Hammy just said easy to the camera. <laughs> easy. 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 Yeah. Oozing confidence. Having right having now. some fun, but they're you know the thing with the squad, right? They can't get overconfident. Go yeah. again. Tribe up against Nova. Game number two of our first elimination series, and Nova starting things off incredibly strong. But those kill bounties don't pass over between games. They don't. I'm gonna have to rethink my entire strategy here, Munch. <laughs> Unfortunately, not, my friend. But I'm glad that they don't because I would not be uh, doing very well in solo queue with the amount of kills I get. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll have to check that on uh, maybe VG Pro after this one. But Crystal <laughs> Triant uh, taken down by Tribe early on. Kind of a different story. I mean, Nova was the one that was the team making the early aggression in game one, and it's just kind of flipped around. Yes, thank you so much. Here again, as Munch just said, with uh, Hot Sauce of Tribe Gaming. All right. Here's the question right now in the okay. fact that you guys are the reigning world champs, okay? Yep. You came into this probably somewhat confident, right? You yep. unfortunately got taken out by Ace, dropped into the loser bracket. Yep. Round one now with uh, against Nova. Mm -hmm. They knock you out first map, mm -hmm. first round, excuse mm -hmm. me. What are you telling your players right now to adjust to be able to make this next 2-0 sweep to stay alive? Yeah, so first and foremost, um, you know, tell them that we've been in this situation before. We've been around for a long time. So this isn't the first time we face adversity, so they're all experienced players and they can handle it. Um, the other thing is, you know, minor adjustments that we think we need to make in draft and then strategy uh, based on team comp. Just uh, play more to the strengths of our team comp, try and get a better team comp uh, in draft, and then clean up our objective calls and stuff during the game. All right, well, it sounds like you guys were able to definitive, definitively excuse me, see what you needed to develop better on. Good luck. We're rooting for you to stay in the game. We're going to kick it right back over to the casters. Thanks very much, Lucy and Hot Sauce there. Hammy is in a bit of trouble, though, already. Has to pop a in the flask. Izzy, we're talking about Hammy right here. I think you, of all people, should know this guy's not going to be going down to a simple He isn't in trouble. He <laughs> is trouble. <laughs> always rhymes on time. Now, look, here we go. Tribe starting to make a little bit of an aggressive uh, move down towards the bottom <laughs> half of the map. But hello, Cause my name is Cause. To be they found the raid boss. Is he allowed to use talents in five versus five? I don't know. <laughs> Trying to make his way back to the lane. You can't stun this guy though. How so is he, he still alive? Up. This is Cause we're talking about here. Oh, oh my lord! He he walks that away. is a lot of damage now. Delphi in position. Trash talks the river. I wishes he could have that one back. <laughs> Pull in onto the kinetic. This will be a nice kill going to Tribe. <laughs> they finally get it, but not their initial target. Truth completely baited. He was like, oh, if Cos can live that long, they don't have any damage. Walks <laughs> into the enemy team. Doesn't quite work like that, buddy. Uh, does go down at the end. Hammy doing some good damage here, but I don't think he's going to be able to steal this. I say that. Fearsome Shade comes on through. T-Tiger's going to be on the front line, ordained. It's going to be on core down here, or in fact, it's available. Not going to be used. Stage elimination game one in the one down in the series. Yeah, and for, for me, like I feel like Tribe, they just need to start to set the tempo, and uh, this is exactly what they're doing. Gabe Vizzle will find the stun. There should be a kill onto Kinetic and bottom. Cause made the rotation down, but too little, too late. Now, Tribe looking to focus Cause, but he's just so <laughs> Back tanky. onto the raid boss again. Root coming out onto Delphi. He's fine. He's tanky as well. Stands his ground. Cause has his pull. The Tony plus the Polite Company out of the fin means they can absorb so much damage in the choke point. Old School taking a lot of damage. Wait for it. Flies on through. Tribe, they're hungry for a kill. Thirsty for a spree. They get the root underneath turret, but Delphi still managing to get out of that one. Fountain clutch from Cause. Yeah, and then... T-Tigers has been a, a little bit quiet, and, and you wonder, like, you know, what's going through his mind right now? Because when a player knows what they're capable of, but don't play to that potential, it can kind of, it can be de detrimental to their entire playstyle. Now, another wait for it, silencing out Nova here in the mid lanes. They try to kite back into turret. Big splash damage. Pull will be blocked off by God Vizzle here in the mid lane. That was only a four versus five, though, because once again, Hamuel doing his own thing in the bottom lane. Yeah, Hammy's chilling right now. He's doing okay for himself. Ghost Wing is going to be started. He's got an ult here. He does. Fearsome Shade could have can just absolutely turn a fight in this kind of situation, especially when everyone's stacked up like they oh! are. Look at the bit over everyone. Oh, it's amazing. 
look at the fight coming out from Nova. Ultimates on Ultimates. T Tiger's gonna fall. Max Green is gonna get rooted. That was beautiful coming out from starting. Delphi literally knocked the camera off the <laughs> map there. That's what happened. Don't blame the operator. Blame Delphi. That was awesome. Nova moved in. They had those big ultimates. You called it. And what a fearsome shade coming down the river. Yeah. We could see it coming. You see a fresh Batiste. He's used nothing coming oh, into yeah. a fight. When everyone else has just blown all their cooldowns, you already know uh -oh. what's going to happen. Uh -oh. Gabe's going to go down. Gabe trying to contest over here. Dropping down low will Whoa. get poked on down by the Kinetic. But now oh, Nova expended a lot of abilities. they got to get out. Look at this the resonance. Huge. It's bouncing through. They're going to get two off of that. And this Ghostwing should be there starting. Oh He's my making goodness. some starting plays in the push. Flexes is up. Max Puts Green. a jump on it. Max Green gets it. Hammy. Stug somehow survived that with Delphi now, just desperately trying to get away with his life. Chuck is not letting him go anywhere. The resonant stays. No, he's not going to chase for it. I guess they want to go for Ghost Wing. There. Did you, Gabe? It's okay. Not a problem as they drop down onto this Ghost Wing. But if you look at Nova, Force Decords up, Fearsome Shade up, Bada Boom up. This is a very similar story to the last fight we had in this river. Pulls there. Old school. Pulled back. Oh. They don't have the damage. Quibble. Stun onto two. The move in. But Tribe able to secure up that Ghost Wing. Wait for it, used a bit defensively. Now the decision by huge Nova, quibble. trying to re-engage. Look at Hammy dropping around the bottom of the fight right now. A huge taunt on in. It's Hammy, is he going to line the Fearsome Shade? But that bottom boom, knocking the camera back one more time. Raj comes out, Anka splitting. How is it through. still Max alive? Max Green able to dance back. They're professionals, Marchables! That's what's going <laughs> on here, it has me again. Delphi absorbing a lot of damage on the front side of his fight. He's gotten like two trash talks off through this fight, but I mean, it's the Ply Company. It's the Tony, yeah. he's natural durability. Look at that wolf spot, and Scott. got pulled in. He's caught, he's down. Starting wanted to help his buddy, but there was nothing he could do with the burst damage coming out of Tribe. Stella on this fin. The amount of CC he's able to dish out. These quibbles have been on point getting those stuns, but also uh, the fortify uh -oh. help. In the meantime, as soon as I compliment them, they start to go down. Yeah, you complimented Cause though, and that was starting. That was all starting. Just a little bit overzealous in his positioning and punished for it right there. Looked like a lame minion. <laughs> a lame minion, if you ask me. Well played, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. Now the push from Tribe. Can they get any damage onto one of these turrets? This was the story of last game. They couldn't finish the objectives off. They couldn't. Once they get to practice that, I think it just makes them that much better of a player. It really does. I, I think you, you understand the game better if you can swap roles. Here we go, though. Cloak in. Nice little uh, bad mojo there from Hammy to reveal them. Here we careful. go. Fight's underway. They're clumped up. They can apply the damage, but they can also get three-man stun from Kaz. Look at that quibble right in the river, but the fight spreads out starting. Nice damage coming out Don't over here. Is that's a knockback over on to the silver. Now look oh, at that no, hammy no, pulled no, on in, see. chopped on down. Great job by Gabe Bizzle. The, everybody just spreading the damage out, but Tribe have taken the fight that they wanted here. Looks like a little tap from Nova will find that trade on the way out starting. There's no way you can really run from this, can you? He's got to try and yeah. make the trade and won't be able to do it just yet. So Tribe really getting a nice trade there. Yeah, four for two. Don't mind if I do, says Tribe. Old school, absolutely the point of focus in that one. And now he's going to pick up his reward of that Ghost Wing. But he was just able to sit comfortably. Gabe Fizzle did such a good job of just pulling targets in towards him as he melts through those health bars. But it was one by one because of yeah. this Yates, because of the control that Tribe had in that fight. It meant Old School wasn't in trouble during these team fight situations and was able to just capitalize. Yeah. This is the real tribe. This is what we've been waiting to see I don't think all so. day long. I don't think this is the real tribe just yet, but this is the beginning you of the real tribe. You think there's more coming? Oh, the, absolutely. These guys are not playing to their full potential right now, and I'm not saying it's like they're not capable of. Pull in from cause. Let's see if they have any follow-up damage. Truth. Trying to get some damage from this Kinetic onto one of these key targets. But this is actually a cause taking a lot of damage for his team. Delphi was able to escape. Cause throws his life away. Fountain comes out, but Tribe, they found one. Looks like they're going for two, maybe even three. Oh, go mad damage out of Max Green with the aggressive plays. And uh, I don't know who played who there. Really nice stuff coming out there from Tribe, forcing these engages with the flicker. And that's why it's such a, a, a valuable pick coming out for them. In fact, they don't even have. Yeah, they do have a flicker. I thought I was going crazy for a second there. It's <laughs> T-Tigers. And Koz standing here trying to be the raid boss, trying to block for his turret, but it's against the CP box, mate. You're just increasing their damage. In the meantime, Old School solo in the Black Claw. Old School pulling a tasty bacon over there, solo in the Black Claw as his team finds the T2 push in the mid lane. This means that they can go ahead and drop back over 
<clears throat> with old school, this should be an easy take. I don't see any contest happening here. Is this called a tasty bacon? I thought that was when you get soloed by the Black Claw. Yeah, or like when you move in as a captain and you take all of the last hits on the lane minions and then just keep on your merry way. I know about that one. Yeah, I know, I know all about that one. Uh, but yeah, that, no, no, just, you know, it is one of Bacon's things. He likes to go solo those uh, those keys. Yeah, ever since Kraken, that was his jam. What a guy. What a guy. Here we go, though. Positioning for the Siege. The Black Claw coming on out, and interestingly, just pushing with the Black Claw. We've seen a lot of splits today. We've seen yeah. a lot of send it down mid while we go to a side lane. Tribe not feeling that. They just want to push with the Dragon. They have a serious advantage now. Oh, might go the other way. The pull in, Vein Crystal getting some nice chunk damage. Chuck able to slip out of that one. Max Green as well, but just barely with that Aka. Oh, in trouble. Yeah, is he though? He's the one pumping out damage. Chuck's the one that's in the most ch uh, trouble as Delphi chases him down. But Gabe Bizzle helping his teammate out. Truth is going to go down. Will he be able to go? No, he takes Gabe Bizzle down. Look at this, T Tigers this going over to toe. Truth trades on down. Delphi left for dead. They spread the damage. They juggle it around. And it looks like Delphi will finally. Oh, he's got the healing blast held at the last minute. Finally taken on down. Gabe Vizzle like is a god. Stunning out of the battle. Boom. Delphi got completely denied. Keeps his team alive. That might just be enough to end the game right here. T Tigers is on the scene. Old school. Going to try and back him up. Absolutely delete starting all over. Yeah, this is going to be game. Over. We're going to number three. Loving it much. I mean, this is exactly what everybody wanted to see here. We definitely didn't want a 2-0 in this North American matchup. And uh, it definitely, it, it wouldn't have been right to see Tribe go out with a 2-0. No. And this is maybe what they need to get back on track. That was, I could, Delphi getting stunned out of Bada Boom is such a quick animation. I'm it really is. That. I just witnessed that before my very eyes. You can see Chief Pat there congratulating his team, keeping on in the series. Zell and Hot Sauce going to be convening to talk about the plan for game number three. No time. Game number three. Here we go. The decider for Nova and Tribe. Who goes home and who moves on in the tournament? I mean, only time will tell, Munch, and we're all here because we love this game. We love Vainglory. We've had sweaty games ourselves, but nobody has been in a situation like this before if you're watching from home because this is all on the line. Do or die. Put up or shut up. Talk about that <laughs> another day because that's not going to be happening here. Starting, oh. dropping low. Give me one more Malice. What's the verdict? The verdict is cause body blocks it up like a true legend First will go life. down, but keeps starting alive. That is the ultimate sacrifice coming out from the captain. Warriors and Max Green down in this bottom lane. We see oh. a rotation from Gabe, but Two, there three. is Vision down. Truth really stacking up. Must have a healing flask. What's he doing so far forward in the lane? He's going to get punished for his aggression. 2-0 Tribe. Scarf, honestly. That's one of the things that he offers over Celeste. They were kind of debating Scarf versus Celeste on the analyst desk. Yeah. Biggest thing he offers, in my opinion, is just early presence. Celeste kind of doesn't exist until level 8. Oh, Delphi might not exist at this rate. Just about gets away with his life. D Drifting Dark from Chuck here as the portal is on out here. But they're going to be able to walk away. No kills taken. No kills. Uh, both of these teams just playing to their maximum potential right now. I feel like Nova and Tribe. Oh, good stun. Yeah, that was actually a really nice stun. But it just feels like both of these teams starting to live up to the expectations right now. A throwing sort of uh, state. But uh, once again, Nova, they get some chip damage and right back down the lane. But now, look at the rotations oh, coming. Cool. Gauntlet's down, even though Max is low on health. This looks like it's going to be at least one or two kills. Portal allowing them to reposition. Nice plays from Nova. Now down by the river. Truth will be the first to fall. Max stays alive, Old School stays alive as well. He's going to start this barrier treant, but the Moon Cloak means that Nova are going to get right back in. There is a Scout this Cam down in the bush. Up. Look at that, wait for it! Oh, oh how about Lord. that one? Oh, his name is starting all over. He's playing some Vox, and that was beautiful. That is the aggressive CP Vox I've been talking about. That's what I wanted to see all day. Starting all over, comes out of his shell. Where has this been all day? That's what we want to see, and that is going to be another turret. It's like it's like a shark in the water with this guy, too. Like, once he gets, like, just a sniff of blood in the water. He is going to turn it up, turn into this monster that we know he is. Right now, starting looking for an opening, looking like he, looking like he's the one that's going to engage the fight. And this is, you know, this is exactly what we were talking about. 
He is starting to come alive. Play to his material. Look at Cause right here on the back. He's going to get the self heal. Wind up for the verse. The damage is there, but the stun is blocked up. Now chasing, looking for more. Cancel onto the gauntlet. Delphi trying to get the damage to zone with the flicker here. Gabe Bizzle forced back. Looks like Vox able to squirt down into the river here. Just staying alive. Perfect timings on the fountain there coming out. And it's they actually have two fountains working right now for yeah. the side of Nova. And it just showed right there. Yeah, all of their item builds perfectly designed for team fighting. And you saw as soon as that fight started, starting and Hami both immediately popped those infusions that are in the inventories. But Tribe are the ones that are winning out this situation right now, unless we have this re-engaged Chuck taking a good chunk of damage. Yeah, they, they know to back away from those resident spans. <laughs> exactly. The thing is, like, it looks good for Tribe, but all you have to do is get that, that pulse off. Maybe a sonic zoom, they get some nice chunk damage, and they'll be on the back, but Tribe really want this turret, though. It's low on health. They just uh, need a couple more pops onto it. The chip damage is real. You gotta be so careful, though. Is. Starting, we'll go ahead and back off as the turret falls. I'm still in disbelief that this is a lower bracket first game. Wait, we're know? in the lower bracket? This is the lower bracket with these two exceptional teams going up against one another. This easily could have been the grand final of the whole tournament, but no longer. Here we go, Tribe. And they grab themselves a ghost wing. It's Hi, my name's Delphi. I'm thinking about stealing <laughs> yeah. it, but uh, I'll go ahead and back on out. So making the smart We've play. Seen it but look at this push. I mean, this is even more intelligent for Nova than that takedown on the ghost wing. They're up in the top lane. They're taking turrets. Like, you want to play with some dragons? It's fine. We're taking objectives on the other side of the map. Playing with dragons is playing with fire at this stage in the game. Truth of light. Just about getting away. Look at the damage onto starting. Trying to walk away with his life. Wait for it. Comes across. Look at that. Damage coming Ooh. on through, he's finished off. And that's why they like that Kinetic so much. That's why Flash loves yeah. this pick when it gets uh, taken for both of these squads. Actually, every team here at the tournament. I mean, you have that nice uh, uh, chunk damage. You have the ultimate to chase him down, the ability to reposition, and they execute it perfectly. Often it feels like Kinetic's ultimate doesn't do enough in, in certain situations, but if you're in that scenario, they don't have a block available. They don't have a captain nearby. Yeah. It absolutely chunks out the health. And especially on it's on a squishy hero, right? Yeah. Like, what is starting to have in the way of defense? Really not much. And if you can get that onto him, it's going to be perfect. Perfect execution there. And I would expect no less from old school in a moment like this. He's been in a position like this before. They have Black Claw. They're in the mid lane. And if Tribe play their cards well, they could be into the base of Nova within moments. Black Claw slamming home onto the T2 in the mid lane. Now onto the base turret, looking for an engage. These are the moments that decide an entire series right here. This could be do or die for Nova. They have to survive this siege. They have to survive the ensuing team fight, or they're going to be knocked out of the entire tournament. Here goes a hard engage. A hard engage from Nova, trying to force Tri back. A nice job to drop the gauntlet, zoning Nova. Delphi takes a lot of chunk damage. They're on to starting. Starting zone back. He's down. Tribe look like they're trying to get it to end this one out, and they might have done it. They've taken two, looking for three. Black Claw still alive. They're in the base of Nova. It is do or die right now. Nova, can you make the plays? Delphi will get the fountain Hammy's out at the last alive. moment. Yeah, Hammy's still alive, but, but it's what five can he do? versus one. Hamuel Jackson. Oh, no. Tribe have done it in game three. Stay alive. They're sending Nova home. And Tribe will move on. What a barn burner. Unbelievable performance at the end out of Tribe. Honestly, it could not have I been a go, closer I wanna game. I want to go hug like everybody up there, like Tribe for winning, <laughs> and then Nova just because they're, they're my boys, and I, I just feel so bad to see them in a moment like this. Hammy almost in disbelief. He was yeah. like, you could tell Hammy was thinking, like, team, are we really engaging right now? That's why he was on the back of that fight. How did it end like this? A devastating loss for Nova, but unbelievable for Tribe, for them to manage to take that one. It felt like they were so far back behind. It, it felt like there was no way back into the game. Once starting had started to pop off, once we saw Hammy getting into the back of those team fights, I thought it was all over for Tribe, but somehow they pulled through and power onto their match against Clash. Yeah, I'll tell you, there's no way to change your predictions on who's going to win this tournament. Uh, I don't know who was predicting this Nova squad, but... I don't know, but I'm a European, so I, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I said Clash. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you said Clash as well. Uh, but look at these guys, good sports here. Starting all over, 
we've seen this guy mature so much. Uh -huh. I mean, you go back a couple seasons, it was tough for this guy to shake hands after a loss, but he's matured so much, he's continued to improve. It's great to see them, you know, they're all friends here. These guys play together so much. They're on different sides of the map here, and sure, Nova goes down, but they're going to keep in touch. They're going to keep playing together. I mean, they, they could be teammates for all they know in the future, depending on how things shake out.